Hey there. In the previous mission, you have discovered that an algorithm is a step-by-step -step plan to solve a problem. That such an algorithm starts with an event. That a series of steps within such an algorithm is called a sequence. And that a sequence can contain loops, pieces that are repeated a number of times. This way you have written an algorithm for a robotic cleaner who can help rid the ocean of all the plastic that floats around in it. But we are not done yet. So far, we have only made the robot swim right over the plastic. But we want to make the water cleaner, so your robot will also have to fish that plastic out of the water and put it in a container on board. Take your worksheet with the cards and the worksheet with the code blocks for mission 3. Cut them out neatly and pause this video while you do that. Now take a look at this puzzle. Could you solve it again with an algorithm? Try to add blocks this time that will actually clean up the plastic. Make your script as simple and short as possible. Start again with the event block and try to find a solution. Good luck! Well, did you do it? I have solved it this way. Start, repeat three times forward, extend arm, pick up, put away, turn right, repeat four times forward, turn left, repeat four times forward, extend arm, pick up, put away. Isn't that simple? You expand your algorithm with a number of new instructions. But how will the robot know that it is a piece of plastic, and not a fish or a crab? Let's make the algorithm a little smarter by adding an instruction that is going to determine if a sequence should or should not be executed. Of course, we do not want to take the animals out of the sea. Such a check is called a conditional statement in programming language an equation to determine whether something should or should not be done. Take a look at this yellow block. First a check, if this is true. In our case, I fill out plastic. If it is plastic, then do this. Here I fill out the three cleaning actions, extend arm, pick up, and put away. Or else, for instance, if it is not plastic but a fish, then go on. Your turn. Make this puzzle and try to solve it by using two if, then, or else blocks. Good luck. I have written this algorithm. Start, repeat three times forward, if plastic, then extend arm, pick up, put away. Turn right, repeat two times forward, Turn right, repeat two times forward, turn left, forward, turn right, repeat six times forward. If plastic, then extend arm, pick up, put away. Yes, it worked. I have used an if, then, or else block twice. But take a look at this puzzle. Would you be able to find a solution for that too? Pause the video. Shall we take a look together? First, I try and recognize a pattern. Did you see it? Start, repeat two times forward. Then, repeat three times, repeat five times forward. If plastic, then extend arm, pick up, put away, turn right. As you can see, you can simplify puzzles that look complicated by recognizing certain patterns. In programming language, this is called abstraction. Now you know that an algorithm is a step-by-step -step plan to solve a problem. Such an algorithm starts with an event. A series of steps within such an algorithm is called a sequence. And a sequence can contain loops 
pieces that are repeated a number of times, and conditional statements, if, then, or else blocks. Very well done! Your algorithm to save the ocean is almost done. In the next mission, we will add the last code. Great that you joined us, and until next mission.